Portal 1 and 2 are considered the best problem solving games and right now we live in an era where entertainment is mostly brain rot. To regain my brain cells lost from scrolling YouTube shorts, I'll need to get all achievements for both Portal 1 and Portal 2. I started the first game and found myself trapped in some sort of resting room. After examining my surroundings, a robotic voice can be heard from the speaker. The mysterious voice belongs to Gladios, who runs the entire testing facility. Unfortunately, I have the role of a lab rat, and I'll have to solve multiple test chambers for her. I was quickly let out to do one of the tests, which was just the simple task of placing a cube on the pressure plate to proceed to other chambers. After passing the second test chamber with flying colors, I stumbled upon the third chamber and found myself the means to speed things up. Ooh. Uh, yoink. Aha, let's go. The portal gun allowed me to access unreachable spots by interconnecting two different colored portals. It is also required to vandalize security cameras, which I have to repeat the process 32 more times to get the camera shy achievement. After placing more cubes to pressure plates, I encountered a new gimmick called the kinetic ball, which made me think twice in my portal placements. Jeez. It didn't take long for me to figure out the solution. There you go. And I left the chamber in no time. Aha. Easy. Three completed challenge rooms later and I found myself staring at the yellow portal gun. Oh. To access the gun, I'll have to teleport into the kinetic ball room, redirect the kinetic ball so it activates the moving platform. Nice. And wait for the yellow portal to get close to the moving platform. Ta-da! I can finally shoot both blue and yellow portals freely, which can clear out test chambers much faster. I was then introduced to another mechanic called Velocity. Ta-da! The highest velocity can be generated by simply putting a portal right above you and one below you. I pretty much trapped myself in an infinite loop to achieve terminal velocity. After completing more and more test chambers, I was set up by Gladios to complete a room filled with lethal turrets, which gave me plenty of opportunity to unlock the friendly fire nice. achievement. Subsequently, I cleared out turrets camping in every corner, and completed the room with a prisoner of war. Oh, never mind. In the next chamber, I was blessed with an unexpected ally. Ah, copy. Nice. The companion cube can help us climb up elevated platforms, deflect kinetic balls. Oh, that was lucky as shit. And help me solve complex puzzles. There you go. After completing the level, there you go. Nice. I was forced to do the impossible. Oh no. You are my brother, Anakin. I love you. <coughs> eh? You stupid. Well, anything for an achievement, I guess. Even betrayal. With a heavy heart, I entered the next chamber, but Gladios promised me cake, which boosted my morale. I swiftly completed the test, and I was one test chamber away from getting my hands on that juicy cake. No, not this one. This juicy, scrumptious cake. With the desire to eat cake, I rushed through the level and destroyed the last camera during the process. There you go, nice. I can finally indulge in some cake after completing 19 test chambers. Sake! Well, I just got deceived. Oh. After validating the effectiveness of the test chambers, the lab rat has already fulfilled its purpose and must be disposed of. However, this lab rat possesses one of the most groundbreaking weapons in video game history and escape Gladius' trap without any effort. I can't believe I wasted so much time in that shit. I navigated the facility's sewage system to reach Gladius' chamber, in which she predicted and set up defenses near her headquarters. I dismantled the turrets one by one. Without blaster fire interrupting me every three seconds, I now have the space to myself to grind the long jump achievement, which is very similar to the terminal velocity achievement, except I have to do this one horizontally until I reach 300 feet without interruptions. Finally, I have reached the boss room and it is time to put down the evil robotic scientist for good. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four, If you're telling me what your surprise, then it's not an a surprise attack. Where are you taking that thing? You are my brother Anakin. Snap back to reality 
Oh, I see, I see. Ah. Uh, if you aren't the brightest kid on the block, basically we have to dump four total cores into the incinerator. We also have a time okay. limit as Gladios releases Neurotoxin in six minutes. She also spawned in a missile turret, which can be used against Gladios to break the cores from her body. The second turret didn't cooperate too well with our malicious intent. Eventually, she shares the same fate with our faithful companion Cube. However, Gladios was smart enough to reposition the third core away from our reach. I eventually got my hands on it after multiple fails. After yoinking the third one into the incinerator, I only had a minute left to destroy the final core. Nice! Let's see if I clutch this. Yeet! 3 seconds, 3 seconds! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I clutched that! Well, I simply destroyed Gladius and blew up the upper levels of Aperture. Although I was launched right next to the entrance to the facility, unfortunately I was too injured to escape and an escort bot dragged me back into the building. And turns out there is actually cake. However, the cake is not the only reason we replay this game. It is to collect all 26 radios scattered in test chambers. Some of them are very cleverly hidden and and I'll need to nice. rely on a guide to fully collect them all. I highly recommend the Steam guide from user Cynic0055 as his guides are very informative and detailed. You won't miss any trophy if you follow his exact steps. Finally, after 1 hour and 40 minutes, I received the transmission from the last radio unlocking the transmission received achievement. Nice! There's nothing else to do in the campaign, so I switched over to attempt the 6 advanced maps. I completed the first two advanced chambers without any issues. However, test chamber 15 is where things started to get more difficult. As 80% of the white platforms have been removed in the first room, it would be impossible to launch yourself across there the you room. Instead, you have to jump over the platform to get to the next room. The technique was easier said than done. Oh, fa 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 fa! Ah, what? Ah, 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 Shut the up. The second challenge is to deliver the board to activate the device. But the room has added several more services, so delivering the board would not be so easy. After consulting with YouTube once again, I solved this one even though I don't know the physics or reason behind it. Now, for the final challenge, I'll have to activate the kinetic device locked behind two doors, which can be opened temporarily by pressing two buttons. However, there are no white walls to conveniently press two buttons in a short period of time. The good news is that the ceiling is still white, and I can position a portal right above one button, and one on the floor. So right after I pressed one button, I just let physics momentum do all the work. We should have enough time. Yup, 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 yup. Yep, 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 don't. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. I thought Advanced Map 15 was the worst of them all, but nothing would have prepared me for the abomination that is Advanced Map 16. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hang out. Any more bullets? Jeez. I knew it was a break. <laughs> what a fing clanker. That's gotta be racist. You fing clankers. Clankers? Jesus! Can you stop ejecting on me? Fuck! Fuck! Okay, progress. Yes, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh my Christ! No, 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 no! <laughs> oh my Christ, this map.
sucks dick. In chapter 17, the cube became a ball, but apart from that, the puzzles are essentially the same. As a result, I didn't struggle at all in this map. However, chapter 18 generally bewildered me. Until I realized I have to launch myself across while shooting a portal at the elevated platform simultaneously. When I arrived at the turret's infested area, I had to launch myself across to get the cube. Then I have to launch back to where I started without getting aimbotted by the turrets and eventually activates the door to proceed to the last room of the map, which was the most relaxing part as all I needed to do was launch myself on several platforms in order to propel myself across the poison mode to the elevator. Jesus Christ. Please tell me it's over. Please tell me it's over. <sighs> Spoiler alert, it was not over, as I needed to play normal map 13 to 18 three times to get gold medals on all challenges. These portals, these times, and these depths. For chapter 13, these portals is pretty manageable, except you have to throw the cube to the opposing red button in one take, which took me about 5 minutes in attempts. Eventually, I nailed it and all I needed to do was just shoot a portal beneath the door, and acquired the first medal in 10 minutes. For this time, the playstyle is essentially the same but more aggressive and faster. And I beat the map 2 seconds faster than the target time. For these steps, portals are my only way of transportation. Which their placements have to be really precise, if not, that's gotta be a reset. Fortunately, this time there's no need to throw the cube across the second button. And finally, beat map 13 with all 3 gold medals for all 3 challenges. Oh my Christ, finally! <laughs> Chapter 14 is is essentially free real estate for gold medals. For least portals, just use the elevator platform to launch yourself up the elevator, and there you go, GG's well played. For least time, I just set up an infinite loop and launched myself up the elevator. If you have attempted this challenge, landing the final portal is easier said than done. The gameplay for least depths is almost similar to least portals, and after a bit of nausea and motion sickness, I landed on the elevator and got my 6th gold medal. Map 15 was pretty manageable until I stumbled over the poison sewer water area. For this segment, you have to shoot a portal while retreating back to the blue portal at the same time. Failure to do this results in a reset. Eventually, I made it to the final room after some practice and used elevation to launch myself up to the final elevator, finishing the map with exactly 14 nice. portals. The gameplay for speedrunning chamber 15 is just the same for these portals. However, this time I choked way more at the end. Go 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 Unfortunately, the game spared me from trouble for the final challenge and gave me my ninth gold medal with 10 less required steps. Three more maps to go, guys. I started off test chamber 16 with malicious devious intent, as it is payback time for what the tourists did to me in advanced map 16. I can sign up to be a janitor just by the fact I'm mopping the floor with all those annoying turrets. But now is not the time to get a job, as I'll have to beat this map 2 more times. For least time you can just glitch your way through the door, instead of hearing Gladio's yap about android hell for 21 seconds. The portal glitch can also be used to skip to the second last room of the map. Abusing the useful skip allowed me to speedrun this map in 52 seconds and 39 steps. Oh my Christ. What? Oh my Christ, oh my god, that scared the sh** out of me! Map 17 is the most cheesable map of all, as you can just use two portals to sever two security cameras, and stack them all up together with the companion cube on top, which gives you just enough height to reach the final last rooms and retrieving the cube at the same time. With these portals done, I can just abuse the same glitch I used in chamber 16, which assisted me in clearing the map 25 seconds earlier than the expected time, and took 13 steps less than the expected value. <gasps> <laughs> 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 <laughs>
For the last map, I traveled to the other side and reached a secret room. In there, I grabbed a CD player or whatever and used four more portals to get to the locked door. Then you have to tilt it against the door so it cannot close completely after you activate it and just allowing enough time to shoot a portal across. After breezing through the final room, I completed the first challenge on map 18 with three portals left to spare. However, for least time and least steps, you have to go to the android room and grab yourself a camera as it is the more convenient route. I completed the speed run in 1 minute 12 seconds which was way too close for comfort as 2 seconds off and it would have been a silver medal. Finally the moments you have all been waiting for. Oh my god come on come on come on oh 69 nice nice nice. After getting all achievements for portal it was time to work on portal 2. Hello, and again, oh. welcome to the Of course you're the tall one. This is my friend, and we are going for the co-op achievements first. After a bit of familiarizing and getting used to the pain too, we each got ourselves a portal gun and completed the calibration course without much struggle. We then celebrated much to Gladios' disapproval and got ourselves the high five achievement. With the tutorial out of the way, now it's time for team building. And we definitely needed that. Keep walking, not in the portal. I'm surrounded by idiots. Shoot all arms or DC a portal override with yours. There you go. And shoot the po. There I think so. No. Take a higher bean now. Inside inside there. You understand it? Hold on. Bruh. There you go. How do we miss this? How do we miss this? Oh my god. I just woke up. In my defense, I just woke up. Oh my. No, oh my god. Uh -uh. There you go. Excellent. We are dumb idiots. How many times are we? Ready? Time to okay. Oh, it's here. Oh, never mind. Yep, there you go. Execute order 66. Enjoy. That's right. <laughs> Insert disc? We don't have disc, though. Insert my penis into a model. After obtaining the disc and putting it into the CD player instead of the male genital player, we violently exploded. Then we were sent back into the building to proceed the second phase of testing, which quickly became our most favorite chapter. Oh, nice one. Oh, they set up lay portals. Set up lay portals, huh? Lay portals, hide out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only you can make it up, by the way. F it. I don't care. Yup. Yeah, okay. and, and then how about how you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh my. Wait, what? No. Where? Eh, no way la, okay, so this is so simple. Go oh, hang over. What the? What the? Idiot. Time doing There you go. Nice. That's what I suspected. Uh, do not drop it, please. For f sake, he dropped it. Upon collection of the second disc, we got violently dismissed by Gladios and got the confidence building achievements shortly returning to base. We also celebrated our third co op success by beating each other. Instead of doing other chapters, we opted for art therapy, and I'll just show you our best and worst moments. Oh my god, what? Oh, okay. okay, okay, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> Leo. Uh, are, you Hello, sure, are you sure they are here? It's midnight, tw 12 p.m. and your parents are sleeping. P.O.P. And uh, Stephen Hawking on the f***ing island. 3, 2, 1, go. There you go. Let, let's set up portal, Bill. Uh, yep. Uh, there you go. Yay. Yay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There. Can we not just... Then where do we go? I am... Uh... Oh, oh, you, oh, 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 you have me set up a portal, is that? Well, no, 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 I can't be right, can't be right, can't be right. Ah, oh my god. Oh, is that right? Oh, is that right? Disable everything. Oh. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This is so hard. I'll explain. Basically, this is a key. I can accelerate it. Yeah? Yes. Go to the key, shoot the portal over there, and then come back over here, drop down, go back up, shoot, shoot the, the other portal up here. Yeah? I, I I don't get it. I don't uh, get it. Wait. Oh, oh! I get it! I fucking get it! Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I understand. Thank you. I'm not going to use it. Then you don't use it. You don't use it. That's me. So I'm not going to use it. Why? Because I'm going to use it. I'm not going to use it.
Ja, ja, hold her ja. Okay, 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 no, no. Go There you go, we did it, we solved the puzzle That's crazy <laughs> How long was that? 36 minutes There you go, that's more there like a chief Ha? Huh? Aim There you go Oh, yeah, there you go Aren't you? Definitely Fine There you go, wow Oh shit Are you serious? Oh, yeah You Then how are we supposed to get over there? Just watch Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I thought. Okay. Okay. Fine. 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 I'm stupid. Yeah. 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 I I I think my brain just committed suicide. Yeah. Watch. Just watch that shit. Watch that shit bounce. Oh, fucking shit. I'll just give it a bit. There. <laughs> well done. Yay! Look at this. <laughs> wow. Wow. Tandy. Oh 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. oh Me dodging my responsibilities. Oh. Like what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Uh, Only Imperial Stormtrooper. Uh, okay, so my god, yeah. yeah. Y you're gonna miss her, trust me. That's why that wall was there. Look. We do not care. <laughs> we do not care. <laughs> we do not. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can tell just how much fun and suffering we both had in art therapy, but all things had to come to an end as we approached the deadly target warned by Gladios, which was just a low texture crow. We are uh, disposed of the bird and kidnapped her children, and somehow Gladios became a bird mom. Well, we have done art therapy and it's time to move on to the next chapters. Upon clearing the first level of chapter 3 easily, we realized we might have rushed art therapy a little bit too early. Wow. Yeah, this is uh, level 3. We might yeah. have did the extra course way too early. Yeah. Honestly, it isn't that big of a deal, as art therapy made us more experienced and we can finish the rooms within 10 minutes. It wasn't long until we reached the later levels of chapter 3, and we accidentally unlocked a trophy when we emote in front of the turrets. After that, we rushed to the final room of the chapter, and we have officially completed all the co-op courses in chapter 3. When we started chapter 4, we are greeted by the sight of an excursion funnel, which slowly propelled us forward. We also used this opportunity to do two emos while suspended in the air and got the air show achievement. Speaking of emotes, after completing level 4, we performed the 8th and final emote and got ourselves the guest co 8 achievement. I also performed the rock paper scissors emote and won three different games in order to unlock the rock paper scissors achievement. With those trophies out of the way, we we speed ran the rest of the test chambers and completed chapter 4. For the 6th and final chapter, I'll just show you guys our best moments. Oh! Oh, look behind you. Look behind you. Oh, it's oh. come. It's, it's come. Oh. Have sex. Wah, wah, wah. Oh. Bro, it's all oh. oh, me yeah, over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come, 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 come. Can't you, you come, oh. Stop it. Get some help. Come, come, come. Oh. Ah, yeah, yep, 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 yes, yes, uh huh. Can you go? Yep, uh -huh. on the other side, uh huh. Oh. <laughs> we must stay focused, brothers. Let me shoot more. More, come more. more, more. Oh. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh. 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 Hello, my God. Let me 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 Oh shit! <laughs> At long last, we made it over to the big mysterious vault. However, we were denied access, as the vaults can only be opened by humans. So, we emoted to prove our humanity. And right on cue, the door budged open. And behind it were possibly hundreds of thousands of humans in stasis tanks. We celebrated upon this amazing discovery, which Gladios didn't appreciate very much. At least we did what she asked, by completing all co-op courses and finding more human test subjects. John Cook! <laughs> John Cook! John Cook! We then hunted every single trophy we missed during our playthrough. First on the hit list is the Triple Crown achievement which can only be unlocked by completing 3 chapter 2 courses in 30 seconds. Second is the Iron Grip achievement. I cannot drop the cube except at the very end of the room to unlock this achievement. Third is the Empty Gesture achievement. It unlocks when you remove the bridge your co-op partner is standing on while he or she does an emote. For the party of 3 achievements, 
achievements, we'll have to go to chamber 9 in chapter 4 to stare at a hidden companion cube at the very far corner of the room. After clearing out the rest of the easy achievements like Narbacula Drop, asking for trouble, 4 ring circus which requires me to travel through 4 portals without ever touching the ground, and finally the talent show achievement. We can now move on to the final 4 trophies which happen to be on the hardest side of difficulty. Starting off with Portal Conservation Society. To unlock the trophy, we must not use more than 5 portals to complete the room. We used only 3 portals to cross the first half of the room and it was easy as cake. However, the second room was quite the opposite, as we needed to bounce off the light bridge into the exit, which took us some time to learn the method. The fuck did he use? Oh my god, what? Hmm? Come, space bar. 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 Come, space After analyzing the footage, we identified the correct placement of the light bridge. Yep, that is We tried it again. Oh, you know, the placement, right? Oh my god, come on. The mom Oh my god. Yep, 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 yep. I'll just. Yep. What I can. There you go. There you go. Wait, there this should be five. There you go. Christ. Oh my Christ. After completing Portal Conservation Society, we then attempted the Still Alive Trophy, in which we have to complete Chapter 4 without dying once. Everything was going along smoothly in the first seven chambers, but disaster struck while we were attempting Chamber 8. Uh, what the- uh, What? Uh, Fuck. No, no, no. Oh my God. No, no. <sighs> continue someone's weekend. Why? 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 That was my fault. That was my fault. Please don't. Oh, I redeemed myself. Oh, if I can just let it say Gauss here. Oh, never mind. Yep, we made it. Oh my god, there you go. Yeah, we, we made it. We did it. We did it. We did it. There we go. I always forget. You got high. Wow, dude. After overcoming the hardest rooms in Chapter 4, now is the time for the final stretch. Now. What? I'm oh, stuck. Okay. Oh shit. You will see it, hang on. That will see. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Insert the disc inside the fucking. Uh, Hang on, uh, we did it. Yeah, we did it. And all that remained were two of the hardest trophies in the game. To get them, I needed to hug three of my Steam friends and replay the tutorial with someone who hasn't played co-op before. As I have already hugged two people on my friend list, the third guy I needed to hug must have only played single player. At first, I couldn't find anyone to help me, and I even got ghosted. The only thing I could do is just ask for help in Discord groups. Much to my surprise, I actually found someone who hasn't played co-op in 2024. I'm not glazing guys, I have to thank the Corrupted Mike for his contribution in the video. What an absolute legend. With all the co-op achievements collected, now is the time for single player. I thought I was gonna be detained after killing Gladios. What I got instead was a private hotel room. You know that's gonna be expensive in today's economy. Gee, I've paid all my bills and my rent. I'll take a nap right now, I hope nothing bad happens to me and this apartment. What the f What happened? Jeez, I must have missed weeks of rent if my landlord's knocking at the door. The f Oh, I think he passed away. Excellent. The boy is Weasley and he's gonna get us out of here. You might have a very minor case of oh. serious brain damage. So I'm re- right. Okay. I don't know why he needs to rescue me, but then I realized the building is falling apart. So I followed Whitley's instructions and tried my best to stay alive as long as I could. Jesus Christ, can the British shut the f up? 
Shut the f*** up, your accent is annoying. Jesus Christ, I want to mute him so bad. If he had a Discord, I would mute his mic. Although Weasley's British accent is annoying, he does a good job at saving both of us and transported us from the crumbling hotel building into the stable testing facility. Unfortunately for me, I got trapped in my old testing quarters. Just like old times, I escaped the glass chamber with a portal and completed the same puzzle we had in the first game to escape into the second room. Looks like testing's back on the menu, boys. I got myself an abandoned blue portal gun to meet up with Wheatley. Due to technical reasons, he had to dislocate himself and we had to carry him to access locked doors. I'm gonna stick you in a jar later on. Damn, oh my god. POV, you are a Minecraft sheep. Eventually, I used Wheatley to access the main escape pod, but we are not escaping. In fact, we are entering into a trap. Power up initiated. Oh fuck. Yup, this dumbass revived the mechanical maniac who tried to kill me in the previous installment. And she was not happy after I sent her back into the lobby. I was once again separated from Wheatley, and Gladios personally sent me plunging into the trash compactor. Once I've landed there, with my leg bones and muscles somehow being intact after that long fall, I retrieved the OG dual portal device buried at the heart of the incinerator, and used it to complete my first effort thermal discouragement beam test. After completing two more laser infested test rooms, I was then introduced to a new mechanic called the Aerial Faith Plate, as well as Gladios' power of trash. However, one woman's trash becomes another man's treasure as I needed the turret and the radio for two separate achievements. I used the Aerial Faith Plate to toss the turret across the room to get the Pterodactyl achievement, and I intercepted the final transmission from the dirty radio. I then resumed to solving the puzzle in the room and accidentally earned the drop box achievement. Ta -da! I progressed into the next room and was reunited with my old friend. As I felt terrible for betraying my companion cube in the first game, this time I'm determined to carry this companion cube to the very end of the game. You're coming with me, son. You will be my companion forever. I miss you so much. God damn it. Well, it's no time to grieve over the death of my companion cube, for I'll have to speedrun chamber 10 in 70 seconds. This task is not as difficult as it sounds like because you can just pause the screen and look at YouTube tutorials to figure out how to do the rest. With just one try, I easily unlocked the overclocker achievement. I progressed into the next room and was reintroduced to a natural light bridge. I solved the room without any trouble and unlocked the bridge over troubling water achievement. I completed more test chambers for Gladios as usual. Oh my god, that's re- that's a really good puzzle. However, while I was solving the puzzle for test chamber 21, the power suddenly went off. Turns out the culprit was no other than our friend Wheatley, and he wants me to join him and shut down Gladios for good. I escaped into the back walls of the facility and earned myself the saboteur achievement. While running away, Gladios insisted me to do this next test, as it was the closest one to the exit. Just like an unattended child to a white van, I walked over in hopes of escaping faster. If your age does not have two digits, this was unsurprisingly a trap, as Gladios filled up the room with toxic gas. Jesus Christ, Gladios, I never knew you had it in ya. I respawned and made it to the lower levels of Aperture, and eventually entered the turret manufacturing facility. While I was walking on the conveyor belts, I spotted a normal turret lying sideways. I picked it up and earned myself the No Hard Feelings achievement. Hey. Oh, my little baby. After exploring the factory and catching up with Wheatley, we entered the turret control center in hopes of weakening Gladios' turret army. We noticed the system uses one perfectly normal turret as a standard to filter out the faulty turrets in the production line. We broke the door, entered the scanning room, and tossed out the normal turret template. I scanned myself after getting it out of the way, earning myself the scanned alone achievement. I then replaced the normal turret 
turret template with a faulty defective turret. I don't think Gladio's turrets will shoot straight bullets in the future. Additionally, we stopped by Gladio's neurotoxin gas chamber and destroyed the gigantic tank inside. Finally, I deliberately turned myself in so I can get closer to Gladio's boss room to end her life once and for all. For starters, she tried to annihilate me with turrets, but all of them suck at shooting bullets. She then resorted to gassing me up with deadly neurotoxin, but all I got was a funny British ball. Upon Wheatley's arrival, the system has detected his presence and identified him as an alternative core for core transfer. I inserted him into the NCT rod and pushed the button to begin the process. Whoever voiced Gladius should get a raise because she saw how painful it was for the transfer. Oh. This is by far the best voice acting I've ever seen in a video game. Well, at least Gladius lost her authority and Weasley took over the facility. I think I can finally leave this forsaken place. Unfortunately, that was not the case as all that power and authority got into Weasley's head and he is evil now. He then trapped Gladius inside a potato and banished us further down inside the building. We continued to free fall at alarming speed. There were wooden planks in the way but they were not enough to break the fall. Once I hit rock bottom, I was too dazed to even move a muscle. To make things worse, a bird snatched Gladio's potato form away. I had to get her back and began exploring my surroundings to find signs of the bird. Eventually, I discovered an abandoned facility, and it was an older version of Aperture. I was greeted by the voice of Cave Johnson, the CEO of Aperture Science. His pre-recorded messages led me to an elevator, so I took it to the highest point of the room. As I exited the elevator I saw three doors at the far back corner so I teleported there to check them out. By interacting with the doors I received three unique pre-recorded messages that show how little care Cave Johnson has to his test subjects and diverse that much obsession into science. Well I did find one of his favorite projects the repulsion gel. In no time I completed two repulsion gel rooms and I applied what I have learned in the previous two rooms to escape the third room earning myself the vertically unchanged challenged achievement. After a while of testing and bouncing, I made it to the upper levels of Old Aperture. I walked into the first room of the level and found myself a cube trapped inside a glass cage. I used portals to coast the cube with the repulsion gel, making it free itself by bouncing off the glass and breaking it. Once it escaped, I was lucky enough to grab it before it hit the ground, earning myself the Schrodinger's catch achievement. After completing this testing burn, I reached the room that controls the flow of repulsion gel and propulsion gel. Naturally, I turned the flow up to the max. I left the room and stepped into a vast opening with a control room. I don't know why, but I have a feeling I had to go inside. Before doing that, I entered the room that is above the control center. Inside, there was a hidden door refueling three more doors. I interacted with all the doors and got myself the door puzzle achievement. There was a fourth door, but it was busted open. Open. Beyond it lies a gigantic ship, maybe a reference to another game. I resumed my journey into the control room. Coincidence or not, I found the bird's nest and naturally Gladios in potato form. As we now have a common enemy, I shoot the bird away and rescued Gladios in hopes of bringing up a plan to stop Weasley. Well, we still have to get out of old aperture first and that means more testing. I can't help but notice Gladios has been reacting weirdly to Cave Johnson's messages, particularly copying the same sentence his assistant Caroline used. Well, I have to leave it aside as it's time to get introduced to the propulsion gel. I used the momentum of the propulsion gel to access a button suspended in mid-air, allowing me to progress to the next rooms. Before dipping my toes into the next room, I spotted a hidden room with a white wall on it. I teleported into the hidden crevice and discovered a private office. One of the artifacts in the room was a portrait of Cave Johnson and his assistant Caroline. Judging by Gladius's reaction, I suspected that she is in fact Caroline. Well, suspicions are suspicions and I believe I can get my questions answered in later levels. So I continued testing. Eventually I completed the third propulsion gel test chamber and unlocked the stranger than friction achievement. I took the lift and found myself staring into the first conversion gel test chamber. Ah, more cum. Yes, I want more semen. I want more cum. Hmm. 
I make the whole place come. Yes, yes, yes. Come, come everywhere. Yes, yes. I want to come. I show the seed to make the whole place feel complete. Okay, I need more of that. I want more semen. Yes, yes, yes. I want to cover this whole, whole tower in semen. After covering the tower with white substance, I used the pillar to generate enough momentum to launch me across the room, unlocking the white out achievement. However, at this time point is where the biggest piece of lore just dropped. Oh, who would have guessed Caroline is Gladios? Anyways, I reached the top of Old Aperture, called in a lift. Finally, we can leave the forsaken place and start brainstorming on how to overthrow Wheatley. First of all, we have to find him and it didn't take long for us to hear him complaining about his new job. I don't blame him though, the defective turrets are not making his job any easier. Out of sympathy, I decided to solve the puzzle for him. To repay our kindness, Wheatley then forced us to do more testing. I protested by standing still and not doing anything for 30 seconds. This made Wheatley so pissed off and I also got myself an achievement. Now I understood why he was so pissed as this test was so easy, even a third grader would have solved that blindfolded. Well, never mind. Wow, that's crazy. You're so stupid, man. Wheatley was kind of salty about our defiance 40 seconds earlier, so he made us do the test again. After completing the test chamber twice, I obtained the dual pit experiment achievement. However, his next tests require a bit more thinking, as Wheatley introduced a brand new mechanic called the excursion funnel. I used I used it to launch myself forward to personally destroy Wheatley's monitor. I had to repeat this process a total of 11 times to unlock the Smash TV achievement. I actually had more fun breaking Wheatley's test monitors than actually finding the solution to a test chamber. It didn't take long for me to complete test chamber number 15. After riding the excursion funnel to the exit, I got myself the tunnel of funnel achievement. There was still one more test chamber for me to complete. And it was in test chamber 16 where I broke the 11th and last test monitor. And finally unlocking the Smash TV achievement. Well, I guess breaking all his expensive equipment is the last straw because this is the part where he kills us. Mm -hmm. Hello, this is the part where I kill you. Oh, hello. Wait, hold on. Are you ejaculating? Yep, I'm out of here. This man is an incel. Do come, please. Unless... Just kidding, I'm killing myself. This man has zero risk. Although he didn't kill us in the part where he's supposed to kill me, he is still pretty bloodthirsty. Eventually, we bypassed all of Wheatley's traps and arrived at his lair. Well, well, well. Wheatley has come prepared this time, as there are no portal surfaces on the walls, and he surrounds himself with bomb-proof shields, which he can hide behind while he throws bombs at me. My brother in Christ, you are clearly not Sundowner. The only mistake he did was exposing his vast deference, and Wheatley's bombs made quick work of spilling out the white liquid, and the shields did a terrible job of covering his entire body. While he's down, I retrieved three corrupt cores from Gladios, and stuck them up Wheatley's exposed body to hack him, allowing just enough time to start the transfer process. Or maybe not. For some reason, I can tank a bunch of dynamites to the face and lift to tell the tale. The explosion tore the place apart, and Wheatley made his last mistake by establishing his lair in space. Remember what Cave Johnson said? Guess what? Round up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. What? Oh! Even with all the power and the authority, Wheatley was still too stupid to realize that two idiots will always beat a smart guy, especially when one has a portal device and the other has decades of experience in the facility. Also, he made a naive mistake by pissing two people at once. Good. You fresh man. Goodbye, Wheatley. May you be stupid enough to not find a way back. Gradius, I'm glad you reformed. At last, 
things are back to normal again. Also, may I inform you that this is one of the best endings in a video game. After all the crazy stuff we went through together, Gladios has finally regained her body. Well, except for Caroline. Caroline Just as the entire weekly agreement, she let me go. Don't come back. Oh, we will never have a bottle free, will we? Thank you for watching till the end. If you have enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Nice, a big huh?